Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you some vintage items and how we use them around the home. A few people have commented that they like the blue and white china in the kitchen so I'm going to show you how we use some of the old things that we like to collect and how we like to display them and use them as well. So I hope you'll enjoy the video. I'll also show you a few things that I have for sale in my Etsy shop and if you'd like to take a look at that, I'll put a link at the bottom so you can go over and take a look at what we've got on over there. Okay then, so we'll take a look round. In my cooking videos, a few people have commented on the blue and white china in the background and saying that they like the kitchen. So I'm just showing you the shelf. There you'll see some blue and white stripy bowls, which I used in some of my recipes. And they're Cornish ware, they come from England. And there's also some willow pattern. This is a lovely willow pattern meat plate with a well in it to catch the meat juices that you can then use for your gravy after you've carved your meat. This is a lovely old French terrine. So we have a selection of English and French blue and white china on here. So above the cooker, there's a Coleman starch advertising sign in enamel and that's instead of having a tiled splashback, because it's enamel it's easy to wash down and it looks great. It's just a different idea for using a vintage item in the home. This is a 1920s or 30s vintage French enamel utensil hanger. This is a particularly nice example in blue with a white checker plate design at the back. And it's for hanging your cooking utensils such as serving spoons and forks, sieves, fish slices, spatulas etc. I have a similar one available in my shop, Anglo French Vintage. Um, as you can see, we've got a selection of different unmatching um, utensils hanging on there. And I think that makes it all the more charming. We've got some enamel ones and some stainless steel. And you could also hang copper ones on there if you wanted to. So here we have a nice collection of enamel canisters for coffee, sugar and tapioca. The sugar one is missing its lid and in this case we are displaying wooden spoons and potato mashers and so here's a nice pair of iron candle sconces in the shape of fleur-de-lis either side of the little vintage French shelf that we're displaying an enamel coffee pot and a chamber stick two blue and white China plates and there's a dove of peace. What a charming display. So this is a lovely carved wooden pediment that you can just display over a door such as this. Here in the bathroom we have a vintage water fountain. It's made of enamel and originally it would have had a bowl underneath and a little tap that fitted in to this here. As you can see it's a little corroded and it's not suitable for holding water anymore but it makes a nice decoration on the wall and that would date from about 1850, 1860, something like that. This is a collection of vintage leather luggage and some vintage handbags. The luggage comes in very handy for storing things such as family photographs and keepsakes and I'm sure you'll agree it makes a nice display. This is a vintage French lampshade. It's made of two coloured glass. The outside is blue and inside it's white. 
very traditional 